Hello guys, welcome to our super simple guitar and today I would like to share with you how uh, to form a chord throughout your scale. I know maybe it sounds complicated but I, I know you can make it. It's easy if we understand why. So today let us focus on G major scale. I would like to show, to, show it to you on the screen. So yeah, that one, that's the major scale. Always remember that the major scale is the fundamental and that's the beginning of all, all scales. And let's try to learn today. So if you want to learn more further, so you need to learn this scale first. And then I'm sure if you if you master this one, then you can explore more scales. Okay, from the third fret of your guitar, six strings. Started from the, your six strings. So here. So that is your root chord. That's your parent chord. That note would um, make your chord um, G major scale. Always remember the beginning of your scale or your note is one of the most important things, especially when you're playing the solo. Okay, that's your G major. So here it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are seven notes in one major scale, and your eighth note is your octave. So G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So in this position, we can play two octaves, starting from here. This is for starting from here is your one octave, and then B, Fa, Sol, La. That's your second octave. So that's why um, guitar is very versatile because you can play um, more um, octaves. You can look at it just like piano. So now, let's learn the major chord and the minor chord. Always remember these two chords are the most important chords because all the chords come from this chord. And the other chords just added some notes and they just um, mix in it and that's why they form another chords but let us focus on the major and the minor scale because this is very very important so now um, if we play more than one notes if we play two mm. or three notes so we can form a harmony and that's why we can form a chords, a major. We can identify the major and the minor scale. So in playing the basic chord, so there, always remember there are three chords that you're playing. So the first, third, and fifth. So one, one, three, five. And um, yeah, that's so important that your five, your third, and your 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 root chord. Now, um, the third, yeah, this one, the distance from your starting from your root chord. So if you play it also in the sixth string, so it's here. You can look at it here. So it's two steps. One, two. That's the distance. So if you count, um, if you count it, start from your root chord. So one, two, three, four. So there are four frets starting from here. One, two, three, four. So, so that's your, that's your third, and your third, that makes your, um, makes your, that would identify your chord if it's a major and a minor. So, in, if you're playing a major scale, a major chord, so this the third is the most important. So, if you play together this chord, and you can form a major chord, and the trick here. If you move a half step backward and you can sound a minor chord. This is the major and you flatten the third and you can form a minor. So minor and the major so from here so this is your major if 
you if you move backward half step so that's your minor so if you try to play it in your fifth strings this one now in your uh, G family chords of your G so this is your parent chord so there is G A B C D E F sharp G so your first chord is G G major so when you play G major you're playing this three notes one three five so you're playing the G B and D so this is so important notes when you play your G major so the second degree is this one A so after your G major is your minor it's A minor so again um, your root chord A flattened third so this is C so if you count from here one two three so this one third so that's your minor so A C and E that's your A minor so if you try to locate the, this so you're playing that notes the A C and E so that's your A minor and next is B minor again B um, D so that's the distance of your minor so one two three four that makes your minor over here yeah. so minor so again the important note is B um, your this one your third and your fifth so always remember this the first and your fifth so that's the important notes and then C so one three five this is a major scale so C so G E G so C E G and that you can play the C major now let's play the D D D so D uh, the third of D is A sharp and then A so D E F sharp A so that's the D that's the three notes okay okay now your six is A minor so starting from your root chord one three the third is because this is a minor so E G E G B so that's your E minor so you're playing E B your fifth it's again it's um, E minor and then G so now your um, F sharp minor over uh, F sharp minor flat flatted fifth so this one so one three five so you're playing F sharp A and C and uh, C yeah right so so that sound make sure F sharp flatted fifth all right so that's why you can play the g a minor b minor c d e okay in one scale in that one major scale there are three ma uh, three three major chords and four minor chords that is your one four and five and that is your ma major chord in, 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 G, in G major scale. So 
most of the blues so they're just playing only three chords that's why this chord C G and then D so there are three major chord in one scale so C, uh, G, C, and D. And there are four minors. So your A minor, B minor, uh, E minor, your six, and your seven. So your first, your G is a major. The second is minor, A minor. Your third is a minor, B minor. Your fourth is C, it's a major. Your D is also a major. And your E is a minor. And your seventh is also a minor. And back to your root chord. So that's how the chord chords form. So now, um, as I told you, so if you want to um, study more one step ahead, so if you want to uh, play, like if you want to add seven to your chords, so again, if you want to play, if you, uh, if you want to add seven to your chords, so you should add all of your family of chords so that uh, when you play, it would sound um, a little bit different, or maybe it's just the same, but it would add a bit feeling. Like, for example, so when you play a major, it's only three notes. So you just play one, three, five. But if I add seventh, so I would play dun, 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 seven. So G major seven. So now there's a little a different flavor. Yeah, that's the normal one, but you added seventh, one note, and it sounds a bit, mm, it's a bit different. Okay. Again, so um, when you add, always remember the major is um okay, the seventh um in the major is this one. Um, this is your root chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's your major. Uh, this is the seventh. And then if you move backward, it would become dominant seven. So flat, flat seventh. Okay. So this is your uh, normal seventh. And if you move backward, it would become flatted seven. Okay. It's so important because in a major scale when you play seventh it's always be a normal seventh or we call it major seven this one but in minor the seventh of minor is always flatted seventh so one two three so like for example in a minor one one three five seven because it's a minor. All, all the minors um, play dominant 7 or flat 7. 1, 2, 3, 7. Okay, so, okay, let's, let's find out the 7. So, from a major, G major is 1, 3, 5, F sharp, G. So, in A minor, A, C, E, G and then this one. So if we if we try to count starting from here one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's why it's the seventh chord of 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 A. So if I play it it's here. So so you play A like that, and then if you move this one, your little finger your pinky finger and then that's your a seventh and now let's find out that the seventh from b minor so this one is your root chord 
So always remember the seventh, the flat third, flat seventh is always parallel. The, the next, you just keep one string. That's the seventh. That's a normal seventh. That's the major um, dominant seventh or flat flat seventh. So this one. If you start from here, so that's the normal seventh. That's the dominant seventh. So that's your. B minor 7 so from from C start from C because C is a major so C E 1 3 5 and then 7 7 is B because C is a major so always remember the the seventh of a major is always half step before your um, octave and if you move again one step, it's a dominant. Okay? So, one, three, one, three, five, seven. Your seven is your B. Okay? I hope that it's not complicated to you. Okay, now the D. Starting from the D. One, three, five. It's. G it's flatted um seven. Um always remember the your fifth chord it's always the seventh is flatted. You know why? Okay, if you try to go back to the scale. So if you count starting from here, if you count starting from here, uh D one, two, three, four, five, six, seven so that's why so that's why your seventh is dominant so if again again if started the counted from c so from this diagram starting from the fifth string um okay starting from this so one one two three one one two three four five six seven uh seven one two three four five six seven no re mi fa so la mi so that's why this is the seventh so you just count so from the diagram you just count where you start where is your root chord where you start so you just count seven so one two three four five six seven so that's why it's a major seven so it's derived again from the major scale Okay, now um, there's a magic um, when you play. It's a technique when you play um, a major seventh and a minor seventh, dominant seventh. Okay, so when you play seventh and a minor, it's always um, dominant. Okay, so that's the standard. But from time to time, there will be a changes and but. I just want to focus on that. So now, here is a trick. When you play, um, when you combine the the first and the third, so your G and your B, and you can sound G major seven, or you say you play the B minor, and you you're playing the six. You're you're playing it. You will change your root into. Then uh six of your scales of so one two three four five six the six is G so now your third and this one now you can form a G major chord so this is B minor you just added G so it sounds G major seven all right it's a nice nice sound. Now, if you play, if you pl you're playing C, this is the C, right? Now, if I change the root chord again, I'm playing. This is your one, one two three four, uh, one two, uh, one two three four five six six. So the six is A. So I'm playing this. I'll just change this 
uh, root chord from here so I can play the A A minor 7 so it's the same I'm playing with the D I'll change the root chord into B so now uh, B major uh, B7 minor 7 so from G minor 7 so I'm just playing like that and then and then this C so normally you can play also the um, E minor like that but if I'll change the root my root chord into C the combination of your third and first for uh, your first note uh, first your root chord and your third so you can form a C major scale and your D is domain uh, from D um from from um, a uh, F sharp F sharp uh, flat five I'll change the uh, the root note it will, you can form a D dominant seven and then what's the next E minor um and E minor is C C seven and then D and then yeah from E minor just play the um, the third of E minor is G so normally like this I'll change it just form it like this so from G I'll just change it into e, the root chord so now you have E um, E A E minor 7 Now the F sharp. So you just play what's the third from the sharp one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So from F sharp you just play this. You just play A minor and then this one. So that's it. So J major seven A me A minor seven. B minor, uh, B minor seventh, C major seventh, and then uh, C, a D dominant, or like this, and then E minor seventh, or, or this one. I, I like to play seven from here. Sounds nice. And then this one. And then go back to G so that's it so if you can like for example if you want to apply these chords or example um, um, what's up years of my love is still trying to get back a good big hill of home for a destination that's the normal chords so now if you want to try to change a little bit like if you want yeah so you can use those chords so the the course is G a minor uh, a minor and then C so that's the chord. now let's try to apply those chords let's Instead of G, we're playing the G major 7. And now, A minor 7. Now, 7, A major 7. Dream of years all my life is still trying to get back the great thing. Now, um, the flavor of your music 
um, it's a bit um, it changed lah, you know? so it's a different um, sound so it's up to you if you like that so you can you can um, uh, learn from it and explore so always remember there is no limit in learning music so just try to explore so you just try to play the um, these chords and apply it so seven so again this is your the the combination of your G major seven is the B minor added your six and you have uh, G major seven by the way if you have some questions you just can um, write a comment below and uh, hopefully I can also answer if you have some questions so um, have a nice day and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay?